right so we are back once again and it's nice to see you all once again well do you know that um if you're from africa mm -hmm, caribbean or have a south asian background you are at a higher risk of developing high blood pressure compared to other ethnicity or other groups i'm so sorry but that's what it is so um throughout my career as a healthcare worker in med such um area i would say that about um 95 percent of my hypertensive patients are from this particular ethnicity believe me it's something i have seen over and over again so today just stay tuned to find out why this is the case why this is so and to learn more about this serious condition called hypertension or you can call it high blood pressure what it is really is their causes what it does to our body and how it silently shorten lives today we are going to go deep into the topic of hypertension we can also call it high blood pressure so most of us have heard of it right but uh you know many still think is a problem only older people face how can we think about that anyway i know you're not thinking the same so that's far from being true high blood pressure doesn't just target the elderly it affects people of all ages and often without obvious signs this is a condition and there is a reason they called it a condition instead of terming it a disease yes hypertension is called a condition because it's a long time situation where your blood pressure stays consistently high not just a one time spike you know spike you know and often without a clear cause but here is one thing understanding this condition could actually save you countless doctor's visits, right? Unnecessary medication, and even save your life. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we suffer simply because we lack the right information and it's under our nose. And other times we just need a gentle reminder for us to take action. You know, that's why Chini is here. That's why this channel is here to remind you, yes, you, to empower you with knowledge and practical tips for healthy living. All right, this topic, high blood pressure, is a big deal. We are going to break it cells by cells. We're not going to treat all today, starting from the basic and working our way up to the most important thing you need to know to protect that your health, to take charge over that your health. So if you're seeing this video for the first time, I'm so glad you're seeing this because uh, this message has to be passed along to many. Make sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and share this with someone who needs to hear about it. Let's take charge. Let's take control of this, our body, of our health together. Okay, enough of my talking, right? Let's make it real. Let's really make it easy to understand. The basic you have to know is this. Your heart pumps blood through your body, right? You know that. Well, that blood moves with a certain force. And that force is called blood pressure. This pressure is what helps blood get all to the parts, to the organs of your body, where they are needed for their organs to function. Now, when the healthcare workers check your blood pressure, they give you two numbers, right? The one on the top and the one on the bottom. These are called the systolic, the top, and the diastolic, the lower bottom, the bottom number. The top number, which is the systolic, shows how hard your heart is working when it squeezes blood. That's when it pumps blood out. So just think of it as... Um, pushing phase and the bottom number called the diastolic shows the pressure where your heart is relaxing 
and filling up with blood again. This is the resting phase. In all this, know that even when your heart is resting, blood is still moving. Mm -hmm. So having said this, then a healthy blood pressure for most adults, not everyone, should be less than 120 over 80. That means the top number should be under 120 and the bottom number should be under 80. Don't forget, remember this all the time. Everyone's blood pressure is a little different and that's okay. And that's what we'll talk about in order of our videos. So in as much as the numbers are the general outlines we have to look up to, don't forget that as people get older, their blood vessel gets a bit stiffer. This makes it too hard for the heart to pump blood easily as they did when they were young. This stiffness of the arteries can cause increased force, thereby raising blood pressure in older people. So it's super important for you to know your numbers, not only knowing them, understand them and know what they mean. This is the first step. But don't worry, I will guide you through it all, step by step. Let's keep learning together. So going to the second step, what causes this high blood pressure? As I mentioned earlier at the start of this video, some ethnic groups like um, Africans, Caribbeans, and uh, South Asian, some parts, are more likely to develop high blood pressure. Why is this so? It mostly comes down to a mix of things like our lifestyles, um, traditional way of cooking, genetics which I won't go too deep into today, so I don't have to confuse anyone. And the environment will live in. To help you understand the causes better, I will break it down into two main types, okay? So, the first one is the primary hypertension. So we can also call it essential hypertension. So it's the, um, the most common type which develops slowly, but over time, and it doesn't have one clear cause. Instead, um, it's usually linked to several risk factors like your family history. How many persons, how many of your family members is having hypertension? Think, yes, it can run in blood. Are you concerned about your weight? Are you still concerned? Well, you have to be. Being overweight is not good for our blood pressure. And not getting enough physical exercise. So have you seen more reasons? You have to shake it up. Move that body. Be determined. Don't exercise tomorrow and leave the next day. Keep on. Make it consistent. Eating too much salt. We will talk about, discuss about that later in the next video and not enough potassium. You know, potassium is an electrolyte in our body that helps the heart muscles to pump blood. It maintains your heart muscle, like the power the heart needs to do that pumping. Another cause is drinking too much of alcohol. You still don't want to stop? Are you serious? No, you have to. An increased alcohol causes high blood pressure. Smoking. What joy do you derive from it? It's good, you stop. And also, just like I said earlier, aging. Oh yes, high blood pressure can um, either sneak or coil up over time with no clear cause, or it can be triggered by another health issue. So in our next video, we are going to discuss about secondary causes of hypertension. It is very important you listen and learn. So we're gonna stop here. So you can take in everything we've talked about so far. In the next video, we'll be discussing more on the implication and the secondary causes of this hypertension. Just like I promised, we'll be taking it step by step. You got any question? I would like you to leave it in the comment section below. So we'll leave out anything. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.